Together we've helped each other to heal, but also we've helped each other to grow and to make a difference on this issue. And tonight we're celebrating that. We're celebrating the mothers who could have laid down and died when they lost their son or daughter. When you're going to meet mothers tonight, get up every day like I do to make a difference. And we're all coming together to say we've got to stop the violence. Enough is enough. I'm standing in front of a quilt that was made by Sister Rashida Bay, and the quilt actually looks at all the different things that we've done over the last 15 years. You have a mother here with coffins. This was a march we did carrying a coffin several years ago. This is me on the front page of Daily News. Moms versus murder. That's what we're doing. We're fighting murder to stop it and save lives in our community. I'm here tonight with the great honor of accepting an award of a favorite son from Mothers in Charge who has uh, awarded Malcolm for his work in the community. Um, it's such an honor to be in a room with such powerful women um, doing the work on the ground and supporting these families and communities. I admire them so much. It's 15 years. It's a very exciting anniversary and there's nothing more important than the work they do. 15 years is a milestone. Every year is a milestone, but this Dorothy Johnson Spite has a vision, and the vision continues to grow and expand, not only locally, but nationally. I'm here from Los Angeles, California, and I'm the chapter leader for Mothers in Charge, and I'm just so honored to be here on the 15th anniversary for Mothers in Charge, and I just want to congratulate Dorothy on the fantastic job she's done. It's such an honor to be here for the 15th anniversary and be part of this amazing family. Congratulations to Mothers in Charge for making it this far. It's an honor to be here with Dorothy Johnson Spite, our founder, and all these wonderful people from all over the country to help save lives and to help stop the killing and start the healing. But we are so excited just for 15 years to know that not only we are um, a household name, but we have um, marched on uh, Capitol Hill. We have gotten um, policymakers' attention. We've gotten leaders in the community's attention to let them know that we're here and we're not going to be quiet and we're not going to stand still. We're not going to sit down because as long as God gives us breath, as long as he gives us the will, that we're going to continue to fight on the front lines for our children and the babies who didn't have any say-so. 